You know what they say, third time's a charm? Well, here we go. Very, very happy back in the day to see a Tulumnia open up and I'm like, yes, I didn't lose my Tulumnia Red Devil. And I was so 100% sure this was Tulumnia Red Devil. Then she changed her color and became a little bit more fuchsia and suddenly a white necklace appeared on her lip. She's beautiful, wonderful, never mind, not Tulumnia Red Devil. But then another Tulumnia opened. Yay, this is Tulumnia Red Devil. I was so happy that I still had her because I was under the impression I had lost her. So celebrated my Tulumnia Red Devil. Lo and behold, another orchid opened up. <laughs> Let me introduce you to the one and only, the true, the real, the original Tulumnia Red Devil. Yay! <laughs> I promise you, this is Tulumnia Red Devil. Now, when you look at them all together, here's the one I originally thought was Tulumnia Red Devil, but she changed her colors on me. She did a switcheroo. Then this one came up and I'm like, oh yes, definitely the Red Devil right here. Turns out, uh, <clears throat> numero tres, that's her, I promise, I promise. <laughs> this is Tulumnia Red Devil, three times a charm. And this one has a new name, thanks to Orchid Ninja Snow Dragonka's son, who was inspired by the beautiful red and that little lip that looks like a little skirt. And her name from here on in will be Tulumnia Carmen. Que si, no? That makes perfect sense to me. So thank you very much, Orchid Ninja, Snow Dragonka San, for that inspiration. But I introduce to you the original Tulumnia Red Devil. <laughs> Woohoo!